Well, a big welcome back to my subscribers. And if you're new to my site, welcome as well. And I hope you join us by subscribing and keeping up with the videos that we're producing here. Today's video is a reminder. We pay a lot of money for our RV batteries. And if you don't store your batteries in a compartment that's locked, say in a motorhome or a fifth wheel that has a designated compartment. But if you're driving or pulling a travel trailer that has your batteries on the tongue and held down by your typical uh, plastic strap over your plastic case that contains your very expensive usually golf cart style batteries which don't come cheap and I don't want you to become a victim because these batteries on the uh, market are expensive and the thieves can either get them for salvage or they can sell them on the black market for batteries so I just want to show you what I've done with my own rig to hold down my batteries but first off I wanted to show you here's a picture of my propane tanks I did a video not too long ago showing you how to secure your propane tanks which were becoming in our area a very valuable commodity people were stealing them right off the front of people's trailers and not so unfortunate if it's in your driveway but if you're out boondocking someplace and somebody decides that they need some propane and you're not at your trailer at the time best have them locked so they're there when you get back so that's one uh, other video you can watch I'll put the link in the description on how to secure your propane tanks but we're going to talk specifically in this video about how to secure your RV batteries and as you can see here I have a lock and a rod that holds my batteries down besides the silly little plastic strap that's supposed to I don't know I guess it keeps them to the trailer if you don't know, hit too hard a bump and I'm going to go through a few pictures here and show you the specifics to mine. Now you may be able to design something totally different for your own use, but these are what I have used for mine and I'll go through a few details here and just show you how I fastened them to my trailer. The first thing I had to do was to secure some sort of a rod or something to anchor my hold down rod and so what I did is I mounted or welded a uh, couple of deep nuts right to the frame and then I threaded in my rod now looking back on this now I should have gone and probably bought a long eye bolt and fastened it one piece all the way down through but this is what I had the day I made the project and this is how it ended up and it worked just fine so that worked just great just you need to fasten some sort of a ring or eye hook to your frame that you can run your rod down. That's going to hold your batteries down. Now, what I use as a cross member to link both eye bolts together, we've got an eye bolt on either end attached to the frame, is I use a piece of a 5 8 threaded rod. And on one end, I welded a nut completely to the end so that it it slid through the eye ring and would not pass through it that was the lock on one end and you'll notice that there's a sleeve over top of the threaded rod which is just a piece of foam pipe insulation and all that did was give it a bit of flexibility so I could cinch this down tight onto my batteries and uh, the foam had a little bit of give in it so we've got the lock uh, the one end with a bolt on a uh, nut on there that's totally welded to it and on the other end what I did is I put a deep nut on it and I drilled a hole inside the uh, end of the deep nut and if you look clearly in this brick picture you can see the deep nut is just about to rotate in line with the hole that I drilled in the threaded rod. Now when the holes line up I can simply just put my lock on. Now I know my batteries are secure. Now this certainly is not security proof by any means. I mean if you really wanted to get those batteries off 
you could work at it and get them off. But do you think a crook is going to bother banging and clanging along where you might be heard and just uh, pass your trailer by to go on to the next one where the fella has only got them held on by a little plastic strap and could steal the batteries in a matter of seconds? Anyway, that's a warning for you. That's a hint for you. I hope you can use it in some fashion to secure your batteries. And uh, I thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you all back for the next video. Until then, here's to roughing it smoothly.